All right, YouTube, we're, we're in Harrison Township, just north of Dayton, Ohio, at the former Dayton Executive Motel. My friend Econ K88, who has his own YouTube page, I would recommend check it out. He got a video of this a few years ago, and this place was in just total ruins. I'm going to do a little follow-up video of his, you know, approximately three years later on in the condition of this building and it's just in complete ruins and needs to come down it's amazing this copper right here has not been scrapped because that's probably worth a lot of money whatever it is but it's just in complete and total ruins this right here is probably some vinyl siding because if it was aluminum this would have already been gone by now and this place is in just complete and total ruins but i don't know how many of the scrappers have been through but it's obviously in complete ruins i was just speaking with a guy a few minutes ago he said it's just a matter of time before they tear it down uh that there is they're just a wait in payment but then again that's probably like other you know these other derelict properties in the city that are just in ruins. Just look at this awning right here. It's just in complete ruins. Yeah, this is probably vinyl because if it was aluminum, these people would have already scrapped it to hell. I'm back because you can't keep the these scrappers out of it. I was just reaching up to feel it. It was, it's not aluminum. It's definitely vinyl. Here you could see the, another view of this where you just got the windows completely wide open or just complete or anybody could get through, kick the, kick the door in. And you know, and you know, one thing is, as, as Econ K88 said in his video a few years ago, I would recommend you check out his channel too. That we have way too many hotels in this country and too much housing, and that is true. Because really, this building, even if it was savable, the only thing you could really do with this would be turn it into efficiency section eight. And here you could even see where the insulation on this one apartment on this one hotel has been you know ripped out and who can who knows if there's been asbestos in here that's been disturbed or what it is but you could see up up this brown stuff on the on and just all kinds of water damage here and uh and graffiti and you know this place is in ruins i don't know what the scrappers have already got, but normally they're pretty good at scrapping the hell out of anything that is, you know, left with these types of, of buildings here. But yeah, this place is just in, in complete ruins as I'm, you know, walking around the side of it. You could see this other window that's just been completely busted out completely wide open here we got another one up here yeah this place is just in complete ruins here we got another little access point right here that I don't know it's probably crawlable to get in but given the state of the building it may not be very safe to try and enter which Given from this building, who knows what's in here, what could end up collapsing in this, in this darn derelict building here. And, uh, and as my friend Econ K88 um, said a few years ago in his video, I wanted to clarify something. He mentioned the area this was in. This is in a very bad part of town, even though it is a suburb of the city. To Econ and other people, there's there's several low-income housing projects only about a mile or two away from here. You got a lot of strippers, just a lot of low-class 
businesses in general in this part of town and uh and everything else here you got this window that's just wide open right there you can see how it's everything's been peeled here's i-75 right here as the sun's going down it's we're on it's sunday evening here around 7 15 easter sunday but yeah this place is just in ruins and just needs you know flat out demolished because really there's nothing they can really do with this with this building in general i'm afraid and uh it is just in complete and total ruins but yeah i mean i my friend econ he's coming down here next month to film to film with me down in dayton ohio there's a few target areas i have in mind uh for our uh for our visit down on the gloom and doom trail in the dayton ohio region i'm, I'm not going to name those areas right now but if you have an area that you would like me or econ k88 to uh check out on his trip down there whether it's a trip you want me to check out or him to check out to film hey i'm more than open to two suggestions on the some more than open to suggestions on on the thing here but yeah this place is just in complete and total ruins i mean here you can see the standing water right here probably was a garage underground garage it looked like for the motel office at some point in time and uh yeah this place is just is in ruins and it's i guess here was the the grand entrance to the place note my sarcasm and you know the name of this former hotel is very deceiving dayton executive motel now the only reason why an executive would have wanted to have stayed in this area well there's two or three reasons um for one this is about three or four miles from the airport you know so you could easily get to the to the dayton international airport which is just north of here and years ago you also had some convention stuff too uh you had some convention stuff too uh because you had you know you got hair arena about three or four miles west of here and there's various people that would have came into town whether it's for a hamvention or the bill goodman's you know gun and knife show that type of stuff and uh and that type of stuff in general and really it doesn't take any really people that are working at, at gun shows I'm, I'm a supporter of the right to bear arms they're not executives neither are people that are handventions but yeah so the name of this hotel is very deceiving to to say the to say the least and uh we're just gonna get another look back around and uh on this here again but yeah here's the other side of the of the the other side of this again and uh we're gonna see if we're gonna see if we get a little bit more footage and then we're gonna get ready to i'm gonna get ready to end this one shortly because you guys have pretty well got the gists of this uh of this video but yeah this but yeah, this part of town that it's that this is in, this has been a uh, this has been a downtrodden and crime-ridden area, mainly because you have a low-income housing project that's about a mile away from here. Uh, there's a lot of crime there, and because it used to be by, you know, because there's a bunch of strippers joints that are all over North Dixie. We're off of Need More and. Uh, we're off of need more road right now of course right here by interstate 75 and just dixie's about half a mile that way 
to the west of where we are currently at. Yeah, and this place is just in complete and total ruins. And I don't think there's really much you can really do for an area like that. Just take a look at that water right there that's pond up just the disease threat of this of that crap is just unreal and right here through the inside of this heck you can even see where all the glass has been broken out the smell of it and everything I don't think I'm gonna venture in there because the structure is probably pretty unsafe but anyway, you could even see where people have tried to break in here. You see all the broken glass, all the vandals and everything. But uh, that's going to be it for this one. Unless I could find something else here that I haven't already showed in this video. We're going we're gonna to call it a day on this one. And... Uh, all right, YouTube, I'm signing off I'm on this. All right, see you, YouTube. Happy Easter.